Hello everybody, Salty Walty is here, and I have a match in my gym too. Uh, <clears throat> I go eight and two, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I don't remember how this match starts. Uh, yeah, I don't remember, <laughs> but it was a good match. I I liked it. Uh, this is a 300 cost room, so this is my level one gym two. Uh, if you haven't noticed, it's painted in Nemo colors. Sadly, I couldn't get the shield to be red like I wanted it to because of uh, color separation. But I think it turned out really well. I had to change up colors here and there because it's not mapped like the Nemo. Uh, still wish we could change out the shields in uh, this game. So we can, like, I would love to equip the Nemo shield. See, that's that's one thing I wish we could do is like. Uh, depending on how many shield parts we put on our uh, mobile suit, we'll end up changing the shield in some way. Like, uh, suits that don't have a shield would get a shield if you would put the shield equip, uh, shield parts on it. I think that would be pretty neat. So, like, if you're taking the Zaku out, Z like Zaku 1, because it doesn't have a shield, you put a couple of shield parts on it and it gains, like, the knuckle shield. I think that would be pretty pretty neat. Uh, I definitely would like to use that, uh, 100%. Or like if you put like uh, the gun of ground type, like put a couple of shield parts on him, his shield, you lose like the punch ability the shield has, but gain a full sized shield. Again, would be pretty damn cool if you ask me. The, the shooting a hit, and then I got stunned by an ally behind me. Big sad. Do you mind fellow support like there's no need for that Oof. But yeah, uh Kind of I'm, I'm on family medical leave for like two weeks, which is gonna hit my pocket pretty fucking hard But I you know to be honest I'm probably gonna look for a different job because my boss is kind of getting sassy with me for no fucking reason and uh I've never, I've always been respectful of her in every way, and I've always given her stuff. Like if I had let, uh, made too much of a certain object for dinner, I would bring in, bring it in for her for uh, her lunch or some shit like that. But all of a sudden, she's kind of been acting like a uh, real female dog. And you know what? You know all the stuff I've done for her and all the time I've put in to her and doing the job real well. Uh, and the fact that, you know, the bosses ain't going to do anything about it because she's acting the way she is. I'm going to, I think it's time for her to find a new job. Uh, yeah, I just, I feel like it's kind of shitty to treat your workers like that, especially when they've done, gone out of their way, put their body online and they damn well know I've put my body on the line. And, uh really helped with the company and then they're just gonna treat me like poo so I guess do when I'm off for the two weeks recuperating I'm also gonna look for a new job and get up out of there because I mean you know there's a job that's in town that I'm pretty sure I can get my hands on that's uh, pays more does better hours and you know doesn't treat their employees like shit I mean the reason I haven't gone there is because you know I really like my job. My job is really fun, and I like most of the people. But like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit there and be treated like I'm some sort of a fucking, you know. Uh, I can't say the words I really want to, and be and be fine with it, you know. So, you know, kind of fuck that. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that, especially when all the work I've done. So uh, yeah, just it's I don't know. Shit like that just really irks the fuck out of me. Like, you, I don't understand why she started being like this, but she is. And, well, I don't really have to put up with it when I have better choices for jobs out this way. So, I'm going to go over to where I, I'm thinking about getting a job at and uh, putting an application there. I got a old boss that works there, so I'm pretty sure I could be hired in relatively easily because he knows my work ethic. Uh, yeah, I was the first one he would always call if there's something needing to be done in the restaurant. So, the same restaurant where I <laughs> fucked, uh, got my foot fucked up. So, but this is the real, uh, the real cool manager I used to work with. This fucking, this guy. 
get beam, beam saber. So like right there, I feel like that should have ca canceled the uh, airstrike, but I guess it did, which is kind of lame. And I don't know how I got that. I he knew I was count, uh, tackling, so I don't know why he thought swinging. Oh, that's why. He held me in place. But yeah, no, I, I just. What are your guys' like least favorite things that happen in your jobs, or if you guys have a job, like what what's kind of like the bullshit times that have happened to you, you know? Because like right now, there's some hardcore bullshit happening to me right now. I'm not having a, I'm not having an easy go. Ugh. But yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Anywho, I do enjoy you seeing the uh, Gym 2. I don't understand how that hit because he was out of my range. He must have moved just a smidgen back into my range for me to, uh, that, for that to count as a hit. So, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of going to use the two weeks to recuperate and get my blood sugar to stop bouncing from, you know, 90 all the way back up to fucking 250. So, yeah, that's, you know, quite a big difference. I don't really understand the whole blood sugar thing. But, like, this morning when I got to work, I checked it, and it was, like, 264. I'm like, I don't think that's good, and that's probably why I'm feeling like shit again. But I'm not, I'm still not over the whatever I had. It was, like, a flu and bronchitis or uh, pneumonia combination again. So, because my body's still really overtaxed at the moment, which is not fun. Uh, uh, this gym, too, is fun. It's, I don't know, like, I don't... It's a gym. Uh, it's, I would say it's strength-wise, lore-wise, it's uh, no better than a gym Kai. And that's really about it. Because all they really did was upgrade the thrusters a little bit, add some thrusters to the shoulders, increase its, uh, upgrade its backpack. It's, uh, really, and that's about it. Increased its sensors also, I mean, gave it, gave it better sensors in its head. And, uh, oof, get flicked on. And then also the whole, uh, uh, sensor on its backpack and sensor on its, uh, chest. And that's really about it, honestly. Oof. Uh, McLeod would be able to tell you more. He's better at the whole history thing about mobile suits. That's why I enjoy his company, because me and him can get down and talk the nitty gritty about some mobile suits. That's why I love having him join me on these, uh, Federation vs. Zeon streams, which... We're going to move over to uh, Gundam vs. Zeta Gundam this weekend. Hopefully Rob can join. But, uh, oh, my beam saber outranges. I'm sorry. But, yeah, uh, that was a fun match. I, I had a lot of fun in my ma uh, this gym, too, I think. Uh, good suit. It's I love the Nemo colors on it. It looks so sharp. Ooh, I love them. Anywho, I hope you guys have a fantastic Monday, and I shall talk to you guys later. Hasta luego.